Hickok 45 here with the Springfield trap door. You've probably seen it, but you might not have. It might be new. Pretty neat gun. This is not 100% correct, I don't think, and somebody refinished the stock, but I mean, most of it is real stuff from the old Springfield trap doors. And uh, we thought we'd bring this out for our first the inaugural big game hunt. Okay, you know, we probably have seen the small game hunt. Well, We've added a few targets and we now have a big game hunt that we're going to do occasionally if the firearm is suitable. We decided the Trapdoor Springfield should be suitable and we're going to start with it, okay? So we, uh, you can see <laughs> the animal population has grown a little bit and uh, many of them are AR-500 steel, a couple of buffalo and uh, you know speaking of that we really appreciate this possible so we're going to sling some big heavy chunks of lead try to knock down 22 animals that's all not going to shoot at anything it might hit something else but we're not going to shoot at anything else but 22 big game animals over there all right now they might not be african big game or anything like that but they are big animals and for us they're game all right, because I'm going to shoot them. And, you know, really, uh, I mean, guns like this, if you bench rest them and get way out at many, many hundreds of yards, you can sometimes pop targets like this. In this part of the country, most people, if they're deer hunting, shooting big game, uh, it is, that, you know, these kinds of distances. And they're just fun. So I'll probably still manage to miss some, but we're going to shoot at them. I've got my ammo, for the most part, on me. And we're just going to gonna throw lead, all right? Don't you love these big old 45, 70 rounds? I'm get my ears on. All right. Where should I start? Such a target-rich environment. Why don't we start on I like pig down there on the right. Let's just see if I can line up the sight. Hit that rascal. All right. <laughs> I love the way these things work. We'll get our brass later. We'll just keep reloading long as she'll go I'll get that turkey down there too while I'm at it <laughs> yeah you can really tell where it hits uh, before it falls usually because of all the the lead splatter 405 grains how about another pig down there oh boy. kicked him off there Kicked him off. Look at that other turkey there. Boom! Spun him around. This is a fun gun to shoot. Uh, again, these things came out in uh, basically 1873 along with the 4570 cartridge. And uh, before that, as I've talked about in videos before, pick that pig off, uh, they converted the old Springfield muzzle loaders. Oh yeah, you know, into the same gun. They just cut out the barrel and and everything, and and put the trap door in it. Whereas later they were in '73, they were actually made this way. Uh, let's get that pig. Whew. Okay, pressure's building. I haven't missed yet. I probably just jinxed myself. We'll just go right up that pig alley. <laughs> you know, it's fun shooting swinging steel. A lot of you do that, and you know how much I enjoy it. Uh, there's still something even extra special about shooting targets that actually fall, though. <laughs> hey, bong. <laughs> nice. Let's come back and work on uh well that pig on the left there by the he's got four turkeys following him <laughs> it's like they're lined up there about to attack i should have gotten rid of the turkeys first let's get the turkeys oh my i kind of suspected i was going to hit him low or her, whatever it is. Ah! 
Boom. Yeah, I think I'm popping them low. All right, big old heavy turkeys. <laughs> hey, this is fun for me at least. I, I'm sorry y'all can't be here shooting. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't handle it, but it is it is a blast knocking over heavy steel with heavy lead. Boom! Nice. Isn't it cool the way this gun works? It's like it was designed this way or something. I'll go on the right. No, let's get that pig up there by himself there. All right. I'll tell you what, this old firearm is still ready for combat, isn't it? Ah, is my arm getting tired? <laughs> yes. All right, let's get that turkey on the right. Oh, I tell you, I didn't realize I could hit with this thing as well. I better shut up or I'll start missing. All right, we, uh, I'll tell you what I might do. I might pick off the small, well, it's all big game. I'm going to get that other turkey up there. <laughs> One thing for sure with the 4570, they don't uh, mess around. They go on over. I think I'll go over and get the pigs. There's two on the left, only two left. Oh boy. Pops them with authority. My arm's beginning to get tired. I thought I might miss that one. Okay. Now we got some big game. Really big game. I got, uh, yeah, I got a little rounds, a few rounds. Looks like I got four left. Wow. Okay, I think I put 22 rounds in this belt. Not because I didn't expect to miss, I just thought that would be a gauge. Whew. All right. I'm gonna go, let's just go from left to right. I'm gonna get that old, uh, buffalo bison, American bison. <laughs> Those are heavy. It rolled him though. And our old favorite there, the ram, that we're always picking on. <laughs> Boom. Rolled him over. All right. And that other ram, we'll save the buffalo for last. All right. Knock him back, bring him up. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't missed, to tell you the truth, even though it's not that challenging, I guess, for most people. Uh, you know how easy it is to miss, no matter what you're shooting. And there's really no sight on this gun. I'm lining up uh, <laughs> with that bead on the front in this little groove here. You notice the sight's missing. I need to get one for it. <sighs> Okay, Mr. Buffalo, don't you embarrass me and be my first miss. I don't want my first miss on my last target. Oh, look at that hit, and he didn't fall. Okay, so <laughs> let me get another round here. Well, uh, by the way, I brought out a couple old rounds I bought at a Civil War show. An old 500 grain uh, bullet and uh, I think a 405 grain bullet uh, from the old, old days when they were copper cases. You know, the first 4570s. Not going to shoot them. All right. I guess I'll get a couple here in case it takes it. Well, so man, that old guy, he is, uh, he's determined. Now these are, because it's a trap door, these are moderate loads. Uh, you know what I could do? Well, mm, we'll try this again. Okay. Whew. 
All right. <laughs> Must have popped him a little higher or something. That took care of him. All right. Is that all of them? Uh, am I not seeing any? Okay. Yeah, because it was 22. And she's clear. Definitely clear. So, you know, I don't know why they call this a Springfield trap door. I, I don't know where that name comes from. But anyway, I'll close the trap door there and uh, uncock it. Pretty cool rifle, and, uh, and this is this is fun. Uh, I, I I have so much guilt, uh, really. I do. I feel so guilty. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I get to shoot stuff like this, my favorite cartridge and one of my favorite old firearms at my favorite targets, and even got more of them. Again, thanks to you all and everybody that supports us. Uh, so uh, the least I can do is uh, let you invite you to to kind of watch. All right. And uh, again, I don't deserve it. Please don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Hate me because I get to shoot so much. OK. And uh, we'll do some more of these occasionally. You know, there's uh, maybe even with a handgun sometime. And I realize, again, it's not a for some of you. It's not a, a huge challenge uh, for me. It is, though. And I, I really am uh, pleased that I didn't miss really with this with this rifle because <laughs> it's easy to miss. I don't care how close you are. You know, if you're, you know, anything closer or further away than 25, 30 yards, I mean, you can just flinch a little bit and miss. It's that simple. But pretty cool old cast bullets and a, a very old barrel and very old firearm and a very old shooter. You know, still managed to hit a few. Life is good. <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing? Just here uh, practicing a little guitar, as you can tell. I need to get better. Um, just on the range hanging out. But I wanted to let you guys know while I'm here, since you guys just stumbled in on my practice session, about our friends over at SDI. You can check them out at sdi.edu. That's the Sonoran Desert Institute. They're a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can be certified in gunsmithing or you can get an associate's degree in firearms technology. That's sdi.edu. Also, don't forget about our friends over at vaultechsafe.com. You've seen their safes, the Vaultech on our uh, shooting table. So don't forget to check them out if you get a chance. And also all of our other uh, social media entities. Uh, we are on Patreon now, so you can uh, find us on Patreon. There'll be links in the description. Just Hickok45 on Patreon. We are on Facebook, of course, Hickok45 on Facebook. Um, you can also find Hickok45 on Instagram, the real Hickok45 at Instagram, Hickok45 on Twitter, uh, full30.com, and then I have some social media stuff, uh, John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram, um, John Hickok on Facebook, and there's also a Hickok45 and Son Facebook, and the Hickok45 and Son YouTube channel, of course. And I guess that's all I can think of for now. I believe that's all of our different social media things. So I guess I'll get back to my practice. As you can tell, I need to get a lot better. But I think I'm improving just a little bit. I don't know. We'll see.